honor today to welcome all new students and families to the university at Albany. Congratulations. You are all officially great in. Albany grads, Mike Ristakis here. I'm excited to welcome you to your graduation celebration. Let's be honest, this isn't your commencement, but we've got confetti. None of us imagined our spring semester would end this way. Truth is, campus just isn't the same without you. But we couldn't let this weekend go by without celebrating your achievements, your graduation, even if we have to do it virtually. We're committed to bringing you back to campus for an actual official commencement as soon as it's safe to do so. So tonight, you'll see some familiar faces, faculty, staff, students, and alums. We're here because of our commitment to you, our students. Our faculty and staff remain dedicated because we recognize your determination. We're enthusiastic because we're inspired by you. We stay resilient because we appreciate your fortitude. And we remain hopeful because we know that you're going to go out to the world and make a difference. The world needs greatness, and you are one of the greats. Congratulations. We're proud of you. Now, let's get this celebration started, and be sure to stay tuned through the end of the broadcast. I'm Jessie J. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm in my closet in Los Angeles, um, and I'm so grateful to be here with you in this moment, on this day. I know that this is a completely different situation to what you thought you were going to be experiencing, but the accomplishment is still as big. So don't underplay this. This is amazing. Congratulations. Your perseverance, your dedication, your passion, your belief in yourself got you to this point. I never went to university, so... Thank you for having me. I feel like this is the closest thing I'm ever going to get to going. Um, but this moment is about you and how wonderful you are and that you did it. I know that you came into this journey alone, but you've made some of the best friends for life, I'm sure. And they're all probably watching this as well. Um, so just give yourself a round of applause. So I know you can't hear each other, but you can feel each other. OK, um, but this is the time when you use all of the things that you've learned, all of your knowledge, all of your experiences, the ups, the downs, the days where you didn't think you could do it, the days where you excelled yourself and you went beyond what you ever thought you could do. These are the times that you can take it into the world and spread greatness, be greatness, feel greatness, give greatness, receive greatness and just enjoy your lives. OK, this is massive. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for having me and go great dudes. Woo! The first song I want to sing you guys is Who You Are. So listen to the lyrics and celebrate yourself right now. Okay, I'm just going to bend down here and just press play on my laptop. Very professional over here. If I was there, I'd be shaking your hands. Congratulations. Congratulations. Seeing is the 
deceiving, dreaming is believing, it's okay not to be okay, sometimes it's hard to follow your heart, and tears don't mean you're losing, yeah, everybody's bruising, just be true to who you are. Brushing my hair, do I look perfect? Do I not? Do I? I forgot what to do to fit the mold. Yes. Sometimes it's gonna be hard Just follow your heart Tears through your losing Everybody's bruising Just be true To who you are 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 Class of 2020 My first memory of coronavirus, the first time I heard about it was through my professor, Naja Fawabi. I remember hearing about it sometime like late January, early February. In my economics class, we had actually talked about um, what was going on in China. When things started, actually, my boyfriend was in New Zealand working on a project. And I remember talking to him and being like, no, things are ramping up, things are getting bad. And so we talked about it in such a way that made it seem like it was not really relevant to us because it was all the way across the world. And then one day, my friend and I, she's also a senior, we were like, oh, we'll just go home for the week of spring break. And we were like, okay, see you in two weeks. And then we haven't seen each other since then. When students got the news that um, SUNY institutions were all going to be closed down the rest of the semester, I was actually in the campus center. It's tough. It's going, it's going actually. It's you got, I always try to look at the positive in things, you know, but then I realized we're not coming back to campus, which is like, it really hurt me because as a student leader, I feel like the one thing that you love to do is be on campus. 
I worked so hard these four years I could take these like last couple weeks to like see my friends and have fun and then like it all kind of got flipped around on its head. It was hard. It was hard to think about, you know, your senior some your senior year, spring semester basically being over. Um, it was hard. It was definitely hard. Definitely hit me really hard and it was kind of scary at first to just see all that going on. Right now, I'd say my biggest concern is my mom actually is a nurse in a COVID unit. So I'm obviously just like worried about her. That's when I guess I realized it was like a thing when my sister got it. My sister's one of the strongest people I know. So seeing her like being taken out, it was like kind of scary, but luckily like she's been recovered and yeah. There were a few cases um, uh, that tested positive in my family. Um, and there was uh, a, a struggle for, for um, a while for a bunch of us. Um, a few weeks ago, my, my great aunt, unfortunately, passed away um, due to the virus. Um, but, you know, the family has made sure to, you know, stay together and strong through these times. So Knowing that I'm not alone in the situation, um, that helps a lot. You have somebody to go to. You have somebody to talk to. You actually have a whole entire support system, whether it's your friends, your family, press professors, faculty, staff. You have people to talk to, and we are all here for one another. So the way that I've been getting through it is just understanding and patience. I never realized how much of my day I spent getting from one point to another. I, I've been I've been trying to keep myself, you know, in the go, trying to help people just as. As little as much as I can at this point, you know, grocery shopping for people, babysit dogs, <laughs> I walk dogs, I clean up trash, I, I throw out trash, you know, when somebody needs some help fixing something, I was like, who needs some help? I'll fix it for you. It's really exciting to still see the students excited to come to this place that I called home for the last four years. I miss it. Like I was driving by today and I was like reaching my arm out for you all and you're like, oh my God, I miss you so much. I'm also a tour guide on campus. So I was looking forward to giving my last tour and honestly, I don't even remember what when my last tour was. I miss, I'm, I'm gonna miss the library during finals week. I'm gonna miss the podium, the fountain. Oh my gosh, the fountain. So the next step is I'm gonna move back home. I'm gonna move with my family. Um, I'm gonna work for that law firm that I was working at for so long. And then I'm gonna look into going into law school. I actually am going to be going to grad school in the fall at Albany. I'm gonna be doing the master's in forensic accounting. I'm, I'm gonna be teaching here in the Bronx in my, in my hometown. Um, so that's something that I really look forward to. I just appreciate the university for honestly saving my life. That's that's literally it. Like you, you turn a boy into a man and now I'm gonna be a professional and that's the most I can ask for out of anything. Family is good right now. Always making sure that we're keeping up to date with each other. Absolutely, two times a day, FaceTime morning and night. <laughs> my mom would kick my butt if I did it. My mom has been my rock ever since, as long as I can remember. She's been my best friend, my sister, my mother. And I, I want to be that person that can, you know, influence people's lives. And doing that and just being a first generation, I take so much pride in because it's like, I'm defeating the odds. Coming where I come from too. There's not, there's not a lot of people that make it past high school. I'm the first woman in my family to go to college. My niece, she's turning four soon, and it was like my dream, and like it's completely fine though, but it was my dream to take a picture with her in my cap and gown. For me, it was like, it was never about like walking across the stage or everything. It was just about like the people. This is like a huge milestone for me, and I'm, I'm actually grateful that I get to go back to my neighborhood and teach, to tell them that, you know, anything is possible. This is the beginning of my dreams. I'm going to start my life and I'm going to start being the woman that I've always wanted to be. Being a Great Dane is really just feeling empowered and just feeling, feeling supported and just keeping that, keeping that mindset of you're going to succeed and you're going to do big things one day and you know, we all have our, some kind of greatness within ourselves. And that's how I feel like Ray Davis. For me, UAlbany will always be my first home. And I guess this is my goodbye. But just no goodbyes to home. To all of you at UAlbany who are graduating, I want to say congratulations. I hope that you had a wonderful experience here in the great city of Albany, and I wish you all the best in your future. Congratulations, Great Danes. Unleash greatness.
Hi, I'm Mark Benson with UAlbany Athletics. I sure wish we could be together in person to celebrate the class of 2020. During these unprecedented times, I know things seem to be tough. It's important, I think, to stay positive and stay focused. In UAlbany Athletics, we have a mission to help develop our student athletes to be great leaders, great champions, and great Danes. You're gonna hear from a few of our senior athletes as they talk about overcoming adversity and doing great things. To the class of 2020, congratulations and go Great Danes. UAlbany has shaped me in more ways than one. Finish line as a two-time America East champion. It's brought me this realization that I really am, you know, super capable of anything that I put my mind to. I, I really, actually, I know that I could have never, ever done that any if I had started anywhere else. I think to be great, I think it's a culmination of a few things. You know, the greats are the people who, you know, they dominate on the field, you know, they dominate in the classroom, they dominate, you know, in the community, help people out. Our team does do a lot of volunteering. Right now, I am driving, um, volunteering to deliver for Meals on Wheels. It's like a tray like this in a bag that has a milk and a dessert in it, I think. It's such an easy thing and it makes them, they're obviously so grateful and it makes a huge difference in their lives. And more than just delivering them a meal, which is obviously necessary, like I offer two minutes, two or three minutes of just like socialization, like they get to see a person, which is nice for them. Being a great Dane is all about integrity and, you know, pursuing excellence, um, not only in athletics, but in life. Being great is, is being honest with yourself, learning from your failures and, and striving, but I also think it's helping the people around you. Obviously, there's a lot of challenges right now. You know, as an athlete, we were taught to never give up and find a way. I think that being positive, especially in a situation, is so, so crucial. Trust the weight, embrace the uncertainty, enjoy the beauty of becoming, because when nothing is certain, anything is possible. Hey, my name is Maddie Khan and I was an international student at UAlbany and graduated with the class of 2018. I also had the privilege of being your convocation speaker in 2016. To achieve success, always remember why you are here. Always keep your goals and aspirations in sight. Break stereotypes and challenge yourself. Only when you leave your comfort zone will you have an experience that transforms you. I hope you can fondly remember all your experiences at UAlbany, from the candle lighting ceremony to Clash, to speaker series and Park West, that day in the spring when the fountain finally comes back on. I hope as you reflect back on your years at UAlbany, you can recall how you challenged yourself and all the opportunities that you created for yourself in the classrooms, in the field, in your jobs, in the volunteering activities that you participated in. I hope you realize that all the choices that you made led to this day today. Now that your time as a student is coming to an end, I would like to proudly welcome you to the Great Dane alumni family. The traditions don't die here. As you know, once a Great Dane, always a Great Dane. Take part in the Gold Alumni events in the UCAN Career Advisory Network, in homecoming, in mentoring current students, and giving back to our UAlbany community. Congratulations. We are all so proud of all of your accomplishments. I am in awe of your spirit, your determination, and your resilience. As you step out into the next chapter of your life, just know that your UAlbany family is always here for you. Congratulations, Great Danes. Class of 2020, these are truly historic times. You are a unique class. I know it hasn't been easy. There's no other graduating class in a hundred years that has gone through exactly what these students have gone through. I guarantee this will be the most memorable, historic graduating class in the history of our school. This may have not been the graduation you pictured, but you did it. The graduation ceremony it's really a public way that you have of talking to yourself and saying, now I am somebody new. That is still true even without the ceremony. You've worked hard these last few years and now your hard work is about to pay off. Just remember to be bold. Face your fears. 
get out of your comfort zone. The more you do that, the more and the faster you will grow. Lean into life, have great experiences, no pressure. Times like this are tough, but they will make you a better person. Stay positive. I graduated during a challenging economic time, just as you may be as well, but this will pass. You will get through it. Right now, you can't see what you will accomplish. It's impossible, but that doesn't mean that your success is not there. Trust me when I tell you the possibilities are endless in this world. With the intelligence, the practicality, and the persistence that you demonstrated at UAlbany, you will succeed. And you will rise because you have great foundation from the University at Albany. You've learned a lot and you've learned a lot this year. And I know that you're gonna be great. You guys are gonna crush it. We need you. You're fabulous. You are all awesome. You are going to do great things, great things and great days and great moments are ahead of you. Believe in your greatness. The world needs you now more than ever. We need your compassion. We need your leadership. We need your ambition. Know that you're joining a network of alumni who wants you to accomplish great things. Use that you Albany name. Albany will carry you far. And always stay connected to you, Albany, and all of your fellow alumni. Stay focused, good luck, don't give up. You need to pursue your passion, follow your dreams, and always remember to unleash greatness. Congratulations, Great Danes. Congratulations. Congratulations, Great Danes. Congratulations, Class of 2020, you did it. Go, Great Danes. Let's go, Great Danes. Go, Danes. Unleash greatness. Unleash greatness. Go Great Danes! Unleash the greatness! Congratulations graduates and unleash greatness. Hey Great Danes, Provost Kim here. When I first arrived on campus last summer, it was clear to me how bright, how hardworking, and how engaged you Albany students are. And now during this global health crisis, it's even more striking to me how special all of you are. I'm just so impressed at how all of you so quickly adapted to a new model of teaching and learning and have been able to integrate these advanced technologies that have been provided to you by our faculty to provide you with the best experience possible while helping each other along the way. Throughout all of this, we've been reminded of an important life lesson that even things that seem impossible are achievable, especially if we're doing them for the greater good. We have turned our passion into purpose. In fact, during last week's Global Day of Giving and Unity, our UAlbany community came together to support this year's class gift, which dedicated funds to the Student Emergency Fund. Hundreds of donations totaling over $50,000 made this one of the most successful class gifts in our history. So many things to be proud of, our five quad student volunteers going downstate to help with the crisis there. Students making face shields for first responders that were deployed all over the state. Our students working with our State Department of Health in order to do research to combat this virus. And we're so proud of all of you. So please accept my heartfelt congratulations and my sincerest wishes for a bright future. And I hope that all of you feel, like I do now, a proud Great Dane. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We're so proud of you. Your achievements are impressive. Completing your education under such challenging circumstances. The entire University of Albany family is so proud of you, and we treasure the memories we have of your academic journey. It's a great day to be a Great Dane graduate. We wish that we could be together to celebrate your achievements and recognize all of your hard work and dedication. There's nothing more special than watching the UAlbany family mix with your own family and celebrate something that is incredibly important to all of us, and that is your success and your graduation. It's the culmination of so much hard work on the part of so many. It has been an extremely challenging year for all of you. But you have made it. I know that we have all experienced losses due to the pandemic. And our thoughts are particularly with those who have lost loved ones. Like a lot of you, I've spent a lot of time alone and a lot of time thinking about what's happened to us and what comes next. There remains significant uncertainty in the near future. 
but there's nothing uncertain about you, about your skill, about your ability, about the clarity of purpose that will inspire you to help us overcome the current crisis. These times call for a sense of common purpose and realistic optimism. Remake the world in a way that improves health and well-being and build social justice. Look for answers and create solutions. Remember what you learned when you were asked to move beyond your comfort zone. You learned persistence, logical reasoning, and intellectual independence. Continue surrounding yourself with people who challenge you and people who support you and make you see the world through different lenses. I encourage you to continually self-reflect on who you are and what's important to you. I do hope that what we take away from this moment is a better understanding of our shared humanity and shared responsibility for our collective well-being. The achievement of dreams is not an individual pursuit, but rather a team sport. Our doors will be always open for you. You are and will always remain part of this family. Don't forget that you're not alone, even if you're in a kitchen in Vermont. Take us with you. Let you Albany forever be a part of your patchwork. This is a strange time for all of us. Every day, I have Zoom meetings all day and wander around my home in a dress shirt, a vest, a suit jacket, and running shorts. You're ready for whatever comes next. Embrace it. You will be fine. You got this. I want to wish you all the very best. Congratulations. And really, just keep going. There is no such thing as a good Dane. It's a great Dane. The task in front of you is not how you can do good, but how you can do great. We are so excited to see what you do. We are so thrilled to have been a part of your journey. And just because the world and life is a serious place, don't forget to have fun. And remember, together, we are one you Albany. One you Albany. We are one you Albany. Together, we are one you Albany. 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 Together we are one New Albany. We are one New Albany. Together we are one New Albany. Together we are one New Albany. One New Albany. Hello to the University at Albany. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the faculty and staff, families and friends of the graduates, but most of all, you, class of 2020. As we all know, these are truly difficult times, perhaps more difficult than most of us have ever experienced. Our society will overcome this pandemic, and so will you. And when the worst is over, we'll need your help to rebuild our country even stronger than it was before. You are our future leaders, and we faith in you. So to the graduates, Say once again, congratulations, good luck, Godspeed. College of the Empire State, mother of an army great, thou the molder of our fate, here we sing today. Albany class of 2020. My name is Aquafina, and I am also a fellow graduate of U Albany. Great Danes, you know what I'm saying? I used to live on Colonial, you know what I mean? Used to go around all Empire, Sneaky Pete's, 
Probably, they're probably, that's probably not there anymore. However, um, I just wanted to uh, send you guys a message on your graduation to let you guys know that you are great. And even though y'all are graduating under less than ideal circumstances, um, know that uh, you should be celebrating because you made it. You know what I mean? And, and, and making it is not always an easy thing to do. And I, I really hope that you guys uh, are celebrating somehow um, and that over the years uh, you've had a great experience at UAlbany that um, that hopefully you guys will miss because I miss it sometimes. I miss, I miss, you know, there used to be a Wendy's there at some point, you know, and it was great. Um, Green Mountain Coffee. I miss going to Walmart. I, I, I actually, I had a couple, I had a couple of those Target lamps. You know those Target lamps that has like three heads. I, I had some of those up in my up up in my dorm. You know what I mean. I I miss it a lot. Um. Anyway, I hope you guys uh, are doing well. That you guys are holding up. Um. Congratulations again. Here's to a great year. Bye, guys. The next song's Flashlight. <laughs> DJ Jess. Now is the time to go into the world and be yourself, discover your greatness and enjoy yourself. Um, I know that this must be a really strange time that this is the way you're experiencing your graduation, but the feeling of pride and passion and love that you have for yourself should be no less. 
Um, I'm sending you love. I'm sending you congratulations and happiness and joy. I'm so excited for what you're going to do. So good luck. And this is it, guys. This is it. 2020. Woo! Bye. Stand by in five, four, three, two, one. Hello, Great Danes. To you and to our extended Great Dane family and friends, thank you all so much for being a part of this very special celebration. Muchas gracias por estar aquí en esta celebración tan importante. I want to thank the dedicated team that put their hearts and souls into creating this amazing program. And we are so grateful to Aquafina and Jesse J, and all of the U Albany leaders, students, alumni, and special guests who joined forces to make tonight truly unforgettable. I decided to dress up for you this evening using my full commencement regalia as this celebration is so important for all of us. Next week, I will have another virtual celebration with my daughter, Jaritza, who is also graduating from college. So this is truly a very special moment. Like you, I wish we could all be here on campus together. It is awfully quiet here without you, and I cannot tell you how much we have missed you. But I am so pleased that we are able to come together in this important recognition of your success. Although you are joining us virtually, we feel your presence, your passion, engagement, and success throughout our institution and beyond. Graduates, I am so proud of you because in these very difficult circumstances, you have shown incredible strength. You have shown commitment, creativity, innovation, and compassion. Yes, we have all learned a lot this semester. You have reached a major milestone in completing your college degree despite the challenging circumstances we all confront. We have also learned how to work through adversity and uncertainty. We found out, however, that we are stronger than what we thought possible. And despite our physical separation, we know that we are stronger together. These are lessons and experiences that will be with you for the rest of your lives, making you much more resilient. I salute you, congratulate you, your family and friends on this great achievement. Felicidades. As you may know, one of the commencement traditions we hold dear at U Albany is the lighting of the university torch. This torch symbolizes the idea that knowledge, once acquired, can never be extinguished. Graduates, may the knowledge you have gained at U Albany fuel your success and light your path as you complete your U Albany degree and embark upon your next adventure. I now encourage you to light your own candle at home, safely, of course, or as Jesse J might say, light the way with a flashlight. Take a picture and share it on social media with the hashtag UAlbanyGrad for everyone to see. We know how important it is for you to be able to join your classmates, your professors, and your families for a traditional commencement ceremony. Please know we share your passion about making this happen, and we look forward to celebrating your success with an in-person traditional commencement ceremony as soon as it is safe to do so, hopefully this fall. Meanwhile, enjoy this moment. Take stock of your amazing achievements 
and please know that your U Albany family is with you, cheering you on, celebrating your success. Because we believe in you, and we know that you will continue to unleash your greatness throughout the world. We wish you and your loved ones health, happiness, and much success. Les deseamos a todos y a todas y a sus seres queridos salud, felicidad y mucho éxito. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so very much for joining us during this important celebration. And please never, ever forget that we are the Great Danes. Felicidades. Congratulations. Thank mm -hmm. you.